Hare Krishna devotees, welcome to Shloka Day. Today is Shloka, Shloka number 44 of chapter 11. Asmat pranamya pranidhaya kayam. Tasmat pranamya pranidhaya kayam. Prasada yetvam ahamishamidyam. Prasadaye tvam aham isham idhyam. Videva putrasya sakheva sakhyuhu. Videva putrasya sakheva sakhyuhu. Priyaf priya yar hasi deva sodhum. Priyaf priya yar hasi deva sodhum. But for what we need translation and purpose by to His Divine Grace, Srila A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj, Srila Prabhupada, Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Tasmat. Tasmat. Therefore. Therefore. Pranamya. Pranamya. Offering obeisances. Offering obeisances. Pranidhaya. Pranidhaya. Laying down. Laying down. Kayam. Kayam. The body. The body. Prasadaye. Prasadaye. To beg mercy. To beg mercy. Twam. Twam. Unto you. Unto you. Aham. Aham. I. I. Isham. Isham. Unto the Supreme Lord. Unto the Supreme Lord. Idyam. Idyam. Worshipable. Worshipable. Pita Eva. Pita Eva. Like a father. Like a father. Putrasya. Putrasya. With a son. With a son. Sakha Eva. Sakha Eva. Like a friend. Like a friend. Sakyuhu. Sakyuhu. With a friend. With a friend. Priyaha. Priyaha. A lover. A lover. Priyayaha. Priyayaha. With the dear most. With the dear most. Arhasi. Arhasi. You should. You should. Deva. Deva. My Lord. My Lord. Sodhum. Sodhum. Tolerate. Tolerate. Translation. You are the Supreme Lord. You are the Supreme, Supreme Lord. To be worshipped by every living entity, every living yeah. being. To be worshipped by every living being. Thus I fall down to offer you. Thus I fall down to offer you. My respectful obeisances. My respectful obeisances. And ask your mercy. And ask your mercy. As a father tolerates the impudence of his son. As a father tolerates the impudence of his son. A friend, the impertinence of a friend. A friend, the impertinence of a friend. Or a husband, the familiarity of his wife. Or a husband, the familiarity of his wife. Please tolerate the wrongs I may have done you. Please tolerate the wrongs I may have done you. So, Arjuna is continuing with his apologies for treating the Supreme Lord as his dear most friend, speaking very casually to him. And so now he is seeking the Lord's mercy. So he is using various analogies, just as the father tolerates the naughtiness and sometimes the disobedience of his son. Just as a friend tolerates the very familiar way in which his friends may um, interact with him. And just as a husband tolerates the familiarity of the wife. So Arjuna is saying, please tolerate whatever wrong I have done you. I didn't mean for it. Prabhupada writes a very short purport to the shloka. Krishna's devotees relate to Krishna in various relationships. One might treat Krishna as a son. Or one might treat Krishna as a husband, as a friend, or as a master. Krishna and Arjuna are related in friendship. 
as the father tolerates or as the husband or a master tolerates, so Krishna tolerates. From another parampara, considering his behavior as transgressions towards God, Arjuna is asking for pardon. While interacting with Sri Krishna, playing, eating, jesting, talking and resting, he did not show the respect that is appropriate toward the Supreme Almighty. The obvious reason is that he was not always thinking of the Lord as the Supreme Almighty. He was thinking of him as my dear friend. However, no one minds transgressions when they are made because of a high level of intimacy shared with the other person. When the relationship is very intimate, then when you do things that you normally would not do with someone who you dearly respect, then that kind of transgression is acceptable. It's tolerated. No government officer has the privilege to joke with the president of a country. Yet the president's personal friend teases him, jests with him, and even scolds him. The president does not mind. Rather, he values that jest of an intimate friend more than all the respect he receives from his subordinate officers. Isn't that true? Even if you hold a very high post in the corporate world, you know, all your colleagues may shower you with a lot of respect and honor. Yeah, in one way you appreciate that. But you really enjoy when your close friends uh, have a very loving relationship with you. So you enjoy that more than all the honor and respect that you get. The president does not mind, rather he values the jest of an intimate friend more than all the respect he receives from his subordinate officers. Thousands of people salute an army general, but they are not as dear to his heart as his wife who sits intimately by his side. Similarly, Arjun's intimate dealings with Sri Krishna were not transgressions. They were gestures of the depth of his loving devotion in the sentiment of being a friend. Yet, a devotee is by nature humble, and so, out of humility, he feels that he may have committed transgressions, and hence he is asking for forgiveness. So, Arjuna is in a different mood right now after seeing the universal form. So his mood, his his uh, rasa has changed, right, from Sakyaras to Dasyaras. So he, therefore, because his mood has changed, his dealings with the Lord are also changing. But that will soon revert back to the uh, normal mood in a little while here. But as we discussed in the Gita Sandesh classes, the way of Praying to the Lord is exhibited by Arjuna. How does Arjuna begin, begin his prayers? By glorifying the Lord. By expressing his gratitude. Then by seeking forgiveness. And soon we will see the last aspect of prayer, which is Arjuna uh, requesting Krishna to do something. What is that something? We'll find out soon. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell notification. If you'd like to join our classes every day, please check the details in the description section of this video. We look forward to serving you.